My name is Phyllis Omido. I'm an environment activist from Kenya and I'm here to receive the Goldman Environmental Award for Grassroots Defenders. I was at home and I didn't call anyone for a while. I thought it was a hoax. Oh, really? But then the first person I called after that was my auntie who raised me. It's okay, but um, I am me. I'm Phyllis Omido from Kenya. Um, even though there's a lot of similarities between my work and what Erin Brokovich did in the movie. Yeah. Have you seen the movie Erin Brokovich? Did you like it? Yes, I saw it and I liked it. Someone made me watch it, um, I think, last year. <laughs> I consider myself an environmental human rights defender. Yes. I'm most proud of the fact that we were able to shut down metal refinery and the fact that finally government listened and they came on the ground after resisting us for so long. Um, that is my greatest joy, it is my greatest pride. But for me, what it means is that, uh, what it means is that uh, for my community, we get to be heard around the world. Our voice is uh, amplified around the world, and people get to hear we are given a better platform to address our issues. The international community is open to us for advocacy, um, and we get credibility back home. Um, because it's back home that we need to work with the government, with the, our politicians, our political class. And so this gives us um, a better platform for us to go back home and do our work. It's a great responsibility. Um, it means I have to expand my work, which is good because um, we have been receiving a lot of uh, reports, letters, uh, people coming to our office from all over Kenya. And uh, sometimes we had to, we had to um, decide not to take some projects and leave other projects because we didn't have the capacity to assist all the communities that came to make complaints um, in our office. But this means now that we can um, have a wider scope to cover. We can work with more communities um, and also it gives us a better platform to address the issues with the, the policy makers back home. Um, so it's both uh, challenging, it is, also, uh, it is also good for, for our organization and for the communities that we work with. The government's agenda right now is economic growth and it's sad that they want to make, uh, they believe that they can make profit at the expense of the environment and the health of human beings. So I found it very hard to deal with their attitude uh, towards the whole thing but uh, I'm determined that they have to change because we need to work sustainably and not the way that they want uh, industry to operate. Corporates, especially those that uh, invest in Africa, have um, a bad um, mentality or attitude. They believe that when they come to Kenya and they partner up with local politicians, they can take advantage of poor marginalized communities. But it remains factual that these marginalized communities hold their rights over their lands, they hold their rights over their waters. And this must be uh, respected. We must respect uh, the local, uh, regional and international treaties that give uh, the rights to these people. In future, I plan to work with other communities to help them stand up and demand and ensure that they get their right to a clean, healthy and sustainable environment, that they are uh, 
their rights are respected, access to information is given to them, uh, they are allowed to participate uh, in projects before they are set up in their communities. We are working with the youth to just create awareness and build their capacity around uh, the understanding the environment, uh, the evolving changes in the environment, climate change, and also to understand uh, human rights uh, in the Kenyan context, uh, in the regional context, and internationally. I'm so proud because uh, the more I talk to the youth and uh, the more I watch them grow and understand their rights, understand the environment, the more I have the confidence that there is hope for the future. There is a generation that will come up that will understand that everything uh, about Mother Earth is about sustainability because uh, we all know that Mother Earth is able to sustain all of us, but it's Mother Earth is not able to sustain the greed of very few individuals who believe that they can just plunder the Earth um, in order to make profit.